What is up? This is your LA in a Minute. And have you ever wondered what happens to all the trash we throw away here in Los Angeles? Well, I'm here at the Sunshine Canyon landfill up in Silmar. We're about to find out. Let's get into it. So every day in Los Angeles, we throw away 96,500 tons of trash. That's 193 million pounds per day of trash that goes to landfills or hopefully is recycled or diverted. That's 4.82 pounds of trash per day, per person for all residents of Los Angeles. Wow. So prior to the 20th century, the Bureau of Sanitation only existed as a solid waste crematory to dispose of dead animals. Otherwise, the waste system didn't exist. People would burn trash, dump their trash in the LA River, or send organic waste and food scraps to pig farms in Fontana. In 1905, a garbage committee led by J.G. McLean demanded a more sanitary manner of disposing the trash. The solution? Municipal incinerators where they would burn the trash. During World War II, the city took over residential waste collection and materials were either conserved or recycled for the war effort. After the war, consumerism expanded and the waste collection wasn't sufficient. By 1947, there were 300,000 backyard trash incinerators in Los Angeles County. That was the primary means of waste disposal. Incinerators increased the serious problem of air pollution in Los Angeles and another solution was needed. Backyard incineration was banned in 1957 and materials were starting to be sorted and separated on the curb. The sorting and separating wasn't too popular, however. And in 1961, Sam Yorty won a mayoral campaign dictating that trash no longer needed to be separated. The Bureau of Sanitation opened more landfills on the edges of the city in places like Griffith Park and Elysian Park. In 1977, Mayor Tom Bradley spearheaded a trash separation pilot program, but there was still too much trash. By 2013, the Puente Hills landfill was the largest in the United States, spanning 700 acres and 500 feet tall. So how does it work? Private companies dispose of the city's waste now, and they own most of the sorting facilities. So Sunshine Canyon takes in almost 7,000 tons of solid waste per day. It is the number one solid waste intake landfill in all of Los Angeles, taking 39% of that trash and burying it right here. Once it's picked up, it makes its way to a materials recovery facility to be sorted. They're sorted by hand or on a conveyor belt. The facilities claim to divert 65% of the trash either for recycling, upcycling, or converting waste into energy. The Bureau of Sanitation still operates its fleet of 650 trucks, enough for each of the 750,000 households in Los Angeles. So next time you see one of these garbage trucks in your neighborhood, you know exactly where that trash is going and how it got there. All right, LA, it's been a minute.